It's Neil Malarkey! Thank you very much indeed, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Neil Malarkey, that is my real name. And every Sunday and Wednesday, I'm on the stage here with the Comedy Store Players. We improvise, we make up scenes and stories based upon the audience suggestions. Anyone, anyone been to the improv show? Yeah. Just three of you. OK, that's good. <laughs> Well, you have a special treat in store tonight because we have three wonderful, talented volunteers, London Business Forum speakers, who are going to be joining me on stage in just a few minutes. Uh, they've never done this before. We met together for an hour and a half this afternoon. I just talked them through it, and they're going to be on this stage tonight and do it for you, with me. So we're going to be asking you for suggestions. We might ask you from down here, what about a location to set one of our scenes? New Zealand, thank you, madam. What about something more specific, maybe a place of work down here? Hell. Hell. <laughs> Hello, a place of work. <laughs> Whiny, snappy people. And where do you work, sir? <laughs> Newham College. OK, well, we'll apply there quickly for some work. So what about an, occup an occupation down here, a job somebody might do somewhere? HR! 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 Remember when it was HR? <laughs> Happy days. Happy days they were. HR. Uh, what about a household object down here? Household object? Anchor. Anchor. OK, well done. <laughs> you were far too old to find that funny. <laughs> Could you see this man? You probably can see his head there with the ball. What's your name, sir? Malcolm. Malcolm. What do you do? Wealth being. Wealth being? <laughs> That's fantastic. Wealth being, you just be wealth. <laughs> Marvellous. Are, are you there? Well, I'm, I'm like you. It's better than well being, isn't it? Uh, that, that's for schmucks, isn't it? Wealth being. I remember one time I met somebody. What do you do? Well, I harvest contacts. <laughs> OK, now it's time to introduce the three wonderful, brave, talented, generous people who are going to uh, help me tonight. So you might know him as the Naked Lever, David Taylor, the Naked Leader. <laughs> The Dean of the School of Communication Arts, Mark Lewis! The former European Business Speaker of the Year, the founder of McThinking, Steve McDermott! So, they are going to improvise for you tonight. We've got some little games that will help us to tell wonderful stories. The first game is uh, we're going to tell a story, but each next, the sentence has to begin with the next letter of the alphabet. So I'll be A, B, C, D, down to... Anchor. Well, no, we'll go with Z, shall we? That's uh, <laughs> Malcolm. OK. Uh, stay with that. So we're going to go to A for Z. So for, this story is going to... He's a gift. Uh, <laughs> or something like that, nearly. So anyway, the thing is... Uh, they're going to tell a story, A, B, C. You're going to help us, because we, we might run out of ideas of what next letter alph uh, alphabet is. So, uh, so who's going to be the protagonist? Maybe a character from history to be in this story. Henry VIII. Henry VIII? I was hoping you might say Henry IX, but OK. <laughs> we'll go with Henry VIII, and from down here, maybe a household object. Sieve. Sieve. OK, sieve. So this is the story of Henry VIII and the sieve. So A, B, C, D, back. OK, everyone happy with that? Anne Boleyn looked at Henry. She wanted to have some cake. Because she was hungry. Crikey, I'm hungry. Diet. <laughs> <laughs> Every year, Henry tried to diet. For he was fat. Goodness, he was so fat, he went on a diet. Henry, you're a fat bastard. The only difference is you're now on a diet. Oh. <laughs> I know that, darling, but I might chop your head off. What letter is it now? J. <laughs> J cloths. We need some J cloths. <laughs> <laughs> Knives is the only word I can think of that begins with K. It works. Um, let the loose be dirty. Yeah. He, uh, he pronounced. <laughs> My goodness, dear, we have got a new sieve given us by Cardinal Wolsey. Never have I seen a more beautiful sieve in my whole life. Oh, no, I've seen a better sieve. You could pee through the one you're thinking of. Oh. No, pee. Sorry. 
<laughs> Quite frankly, I'm not going to pee in a sieve. What do you take me for? Ah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> a retard. <laughs> oh, so true. <laughs> Tell me some more about the subjects of the evening. Unbelievably, I can't remember any. <laughs> v. V, yes. <laughs> Very long pause. <laughs> well, I'm definitely not going to say anchor. <laughs> X Factor wasn't around in the time of, uh, yeah. of, of sieves. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you very much, Steve. That's our first game. Well done. OK. Yeah. Now, what happens in this next game is I have to send uh, you two off. Okay. Off you go. You go to the dressing room. Uh, we have got mics on, so uh, you've got to put your hands over your ears because they mustn't hear oh, okay. and they mustn't see because I've turned the, the TV off in there. So what's going to happen here is they're going to play a, a kind of version, a physical version of Chinese whispers. So you're going to tell me s who was murdered, with what and where. And David's going to mime who, what and where to the other person, Okay, which may be Mark, Mark uh, or Steve. Then they have to kind of mime it to the next person who then has to guess what they are. OK. Happy, Malcolm? Just totting up how much wealth you've made since we started, so... <laughs> With these interest rates, not much, but hey-ho. Are you in emerging markets? That's what course you are. So, uh, so a character from um, a topical, uh, uh, maybe an occupation, or somebody topical, or from history... Who's been murdered? Sorry? Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse, OK. And with what? Oh, are people going, oh! <laughs> It's not real, and neither is Mickey, so, OK. So Mickey Mouse has been murdered with what? An object? A ladle. A ladle. A ladle. And where did this terrible, heinous murder take place? Newcastle. Newcastle. <laughs> OK, so he's got to mime those things. Let's just <laughs> remind ourselves. So we have Mickey Mouse murdered with a ladle in Newcastle. <laughs> that's, uh, that's David's wife. So... <laughs> Mickey Mouse murdered with a ladle in Newcastle, so he's going to mime those three things. In 30 seconds, the other person has to, has to get them. OK, who's in first? Come on. OK, so it's Mark. You've got to watch carefully. You haven't got very long. 30 seconds. OK, action. OK, who is it? Who is it, Mark? Don't tell us. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. OK, that's enough. He said thumbs up. You can stop it. Where? Sorry, what? What was the murder weapon, David? What was the murder weapon? Have you... Stand up so the, your wife can see you. It says... Give, give a bit more. Are you happy? Thumbs happy. up if you're... Oh, you're happy. OK. And where did it take place? Where did it take place? They're saying, take your shirt off. <laughs> He's not Tony Blair, is he? <laughs> a bit more. A bit, a bit more. OK, how can you say you're happy? Right. OK, you know what's going on, don't you? So, so David, just step over there, maybe even sit next to Lord Michael Howard. So, so Mark, you're ready to do it to the next person? OK, Steve, you ready? Nice. This is a particularly easy one, isn't it? Don't you think? So, sorry, Steve, it's not much fun. It's too obvious for you. OK, action. OK, who is it? Who is it? Uh, Skippy. Which... OK, is Skippy OK? What was the murder weapon? What was the murder weapon? <laughs> is it the woman? Did... The woman from Erotic Reviews on later, isn't she? Um, a bottle of sauce. Yes, it's a bottle of sauce. And where did it take place? Where did it take place? Remember what he did. Just see what happens. <laughs> okay, you happy? Or do you want a bit more to Maybe help? a bit more. No, that'll do. I think. Okay. okay. <laughs> Round of applause. David, come back. Second, right. So. Uh, so, who was it again? It was Skippy. Skippy. With what? Tomato ketchup. Tomato ketchup. And where? Uh, in, in a pregnant woman's stomach. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. It was going so well. <laughs> OK. Uh, Mark, <laughs> uh, uh, who, who, was, who was the murder victim? So David, just step back a bit. Sorry. Uh, so they thumper. 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 Thumper, of course, yes, thumper. And what was the murder weapon? That dildo. Was a dildo. Yes, yes. <laughs> We'll all be enjoying soup with Mark later. <laughs> and wh where did it take place? Christ. Uh, uh, some strip club? Some strip club, OK. Well, there we are. <laughs> David, do you want to tell us what was uh, what's going on there? Mickey what, Mouse. Mickey Mouse. Uh, with a ladle. With a ladle. In Newcastle. 
Newcastle. New, well, Newcastle. Yeah. But some bloke oh, over there, the mayor of Newcastle, was shouting, yeah. take your shirt off. <laughs> Fair enough. OK. So, <laughs> give him a round of applause. Thank you. Thank you. Right. So, uh, the next game, we're gonna have to, I want you to start thinking of some emotions. We're going to improvise a scene, uh, which is a, a party. At this party, things get quite emotional at the party. And so I want you to think of four emotions, because what's going to happen is it'll be my party, then uh, Steve will come in, and uh, he'll play the emotion he's been given, then Mark will come in, and we all play the emotion that Mark has given, then David comes in, and we all play the emotion that David has. Then at some point, David will leave, and as he leaves, we go back to Mark's emotion, as Mark then leaves at some point. Uh, that, was the, that was the Newcastle man. <laughs> oh. It's his fault, yes. Uh, when you leave, you take the emotion with you, so we go back to Steve's emotion. When he leaves, we go back to the original emotion. So can I have a kind of um, an up emotion? Orgasmic. Orgasmic. <laughs> OK. And uh, can, can, we, can Steve have a, a kind of a lower energy emotion to contrast? Disappointment. Disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> it's just another night in Newcastle, isn't it? So, uh, <laughs> and can we have a maybe a more upbeat one for Mark? Maybe titillation. Titillation. <laughs> You are filthy. What about just, is there a more... Uh, jubilation. Jubilation, of course, well-being. So there we are. So <laughs> jubilation. And uh, can we have one that contrasts with maybe a downish What's emotion? Jubilation? Shame, of course. OK, well, just to remind us, what was mine? Orgasmic. OK, my emotion was orgasmic. I've no idea what mine was. Well, I was <laughs> orgasmic. No, I'm orgasmic. I think he's disappointed, isn't he? Oh, disa <laughs> I'm disappointed I'm not orgasmic. That's, That's what right. it is. Well, disappointed. <laughs> Oh, man, I got jubilation again. Jubilation. <laughs> and you were shame. OK, just say shame. It's too hard to say. Shame. shame. Oh. OK, just remind us. So off you go. You go and wait outside the party, and they'll be going uh, out, as it were, of the party, and then they'll do a ding-dong or knock on the door and bring their emotion with them. So don't go too far, <laughs> please. OK, so it's my party. Oh, yeah. Oh, full of vent. <laughs> oh. Oh, Prosecco! Hmm, let's have some music, maybe. Oh, oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> Morrissey! Oh, maybe we'll have some dance music. <laughs> what can we have? Some dance music. What can we have, uh, Newcastle boy? Barry White! Barry White! <laughs> we got it together, baby. The king of love. Oh, yes. Barry White. Yeah, Barry White. Prosecco. Volavant, volavant, vol. No. Oh, that's Steve. Knock. Oh, it is you. Shit. <laughs> I've only got Barry White. Have you, got, have you invited anybody else to this? I have, but they probably won't come. No, I'm, I'm disappointed there's nobody from HR here. Well, <laughs> well they're too busy checking compliance. I've, have you invited any shiny happy people? <sighs> yeah, but I don't think they'll come. That's, that's Did you invite Brian? Yeah, yeah, hopefully. He never... Yes, Ding Dong, yes! <laughs> oh, that's Mark! It is! Oh, oh, oh. Mark! Yes! Oh! How the hell are you? Come on! Wow! Come on! Yes! Come on! Oh. More. Yes! More! You never know. Fantastic! Yes! You never met. Guess how much wealth I've made in the last 20 minutes. <laughs> I know. I've got Malcolm on my side. Come on. God, I'm so, so jubilant. There's <clears> nobody <throat> from HR here. Prosecco! Whoa! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, David, we were drinking again. <laughs> uh, we've been dancing as well, and I've made money from usury. <laughs> I'm just so ashamed. I'm just so ashamed. And, and Why do you work in HR? <laughs> <laughs> no, I got a hundred of them here tonight. Those are your only friends, aren't they? <laughs> I only have one friend. Who's that? He's not here. Oh. Is he that died 20 years ago. That was one... my fault. You killed him, It's my you? fault, yes. You killed him with a vol -a with a ladle, I thought it was. <laughs> You're right. You're anyway, right. look, I'm clearly creating too much joy here. Okay. Pull your rope in. <laughs> He's gone!
on! Yes, thank Christ! Thank God! Oh, what a loser. Put the football on! Football? Yes! yes. Come on! Come on! Come on! <laughs> to watch it in the pub. See you later, oh, guys. Bye. See bye. ya. Bye. Oh. oh. He's gone now. Yeah. He was the only thing that made this party worth having. Yeah. <laughs> this this volivons is not left. Then. They're only mushrooms. Magic. I couldn't get any magic mushroom. <laughs> the former Home Secretary held With all those. Shirt like that. It's his fault. I know. Well, I'm off to find some then. Okay. I don't think I will, but I'm going. Let but... me shut the door behind you. Okay. Yes. 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 Thank you. Come back. Okay, have we got time for? Ooh. OK, I think we have time for a chain mur another murder, don't you think? Oh, so, so we're going the opposite way. So Steve be on first. Okay. Uh, you can come in next and then, then David. OK, off you go. Out you go. So you know you're out there in the soundproof booth. Yep, so you, you remember, this is the one where they uh, have to mime who's been killed, with what and where. So give me maybe an occupation. That makes life a bit easier. A job... Sorry? A call centre manager. Great. And uh, what's the... What's the murder weapon down here? Oh, Cabbage. Oh, what was that? A rose, a telephone. A white fish. A wet fish. A wet fish. <laughs> yes, sometimes it just is. So a uh, call centre manager with a wet fish. And, and, and where did this take place, Dan? Dagenham. Are you, are you Ford HR? Well, uh, how marvellous. Um, what about something to make it life a little bit easier? Maybe a, a specific place of work that he can mine more readily. <laughs> Edinburgh, no, I want a place of work. Post maybe. office tower. Post office tower. Yeah, let's see what happens with that. So let's just, let's just run with that again. So who's being murdered? A call centre manager with a wet fish at, at, in the post office tower, or the BT towers, I think the young people are calling it these days. So a call centre manager with a wet fish at the top of the BT Tower, yes. OK, you happy? All right, good. So let's give our first contestants a big round of applause. In you come, David. So, you've got 30 seconds. Action. OK, give us thumbs up if you got it, or a bit more if you need it. Happy with that? OK, what was the murder weapon? Can you remember? The murder weapon. Oh, yes, that's good. Yes, that's right. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, OK, David's happy with that. That's too easy, that's too easy. And where did it happen? Remember, where did it happen, Steve? Oh, yes. Yes, that place. Mmm, yes. yes. <laughs> OK, are you happy? Did you get one? OK, right, OK, off you go then. Steve, David is going to do it to Mark. OK, uh, Mark, I can't believe how straightforward this is going to be. So there you go. Who's been murdered? Give us the who. Who's been murdered? Mm-hmm, OK. Uh, ask for some more if you need it, Mark, or thumbs up if you got it. Yes, a bit more. <laughs> okay, time's running out. You just have to just have to jump for it. Okay, uh, okay. Do you know who it was, by the yeah. way? I think so. Okay, well, remember that. Okay, and what was the uh, instrument? Death. Oh yes, yes. That's that's yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. Hello. Oh, I say yes. Mmm. Mmm. OK, Mark, you happy with that? OK, thumbs up. And you have not too long, only 10 seconds to do just the location. Do the location. I think, can you remember what Steve did so beautifully? <laughs> yes. Okay. Just maybe one more time, yeah. Yeah. OK. Right, OK. I become Steve Brand. Applause. OK. Now, let us go back and unlock the meaning. Uh, can you remember what was the... Who, who was it that got killed? Frank Bruno. Frank Bruno. <laughs> Frank Bruno. Frank Bruno. And what was the murder weapon? Yes, it was a bit like that, wasn't it? It was a bit... Breaststroke? The breast... Killed with the breaststroke. With the breaststroke. Yes. <laughs> killed with the breaststroke. Yes, David Wilkie. Mark Spitz always killing people. And where did it happen? In oh, a, sorry. In a candy floss machine. In a candy floss machine. <laughs> yeah. So, Frank Bruno with the breaststroke in a candy floss machine. There you go. Now, I hadn't realised it was so obvious. Uh, but, David, tell us what you thought it was. It was Step a... Back a bit, Steve. 
It was a um, sales assistant on the phone. Uh, sales assistant on the phone? Yeah. Oh, uh, with, a sh with a shark. A shark? <laughs> so maybe bigger than a shark? No? Um, and it was, it was a church that serves uh, sushi. <laughs> <laughs> well, in a way, everyone's right, but... <laughs> Just uh, tell us what actually happened there. Who, it, who was getting killed? It was a call centre manager. Call oh. centre manager. So yeah. sales is on the phone was Not very Frank close. Bruner. Frank Bruno was closer <laughs> still. Yeah. So, <laughs> and what was the instrument of death? It was, it was a wet fish. A wet oh, fish. Because you said shark, somebody went dun 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 dun. Yeah. Which wasn't helpful, was it? <laughs> <laughs> no, apparently not. They work in Dagenham HR. <laughs> yeah. Helpful rituals. So, uh, and what was the? What was the location? The post office tower. The post office tower, oh, which was really brilliant. That got a huge round of applause because we know it used to be, have a revolving restaurant. Oh. What, what did you think it was? I didn't think it went that fast. <laughs> 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 well, this, I this was an ISDN one, yeah, maybe. Right. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, what was the? Uh, what do you think it was? The uh, the revolving church sushi restaurant. Yeah, that was yeah, that. yeah. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Okay, yeah. happy now. There we are. Round of applause. Okay, we're doing freeze tag now. Freeze tag. Freeze, freeze okay. tag. Okay. Freeze so freeze we're going to play a game that involves all four of us. It, it requires us to really think so on behalf of each other. We're to really help one another out. So there'll be two of us on. In fact, why don't you guys be on stage? Um, we don't drink beer on stage. Oh, dear. Oh, goodness <laughs> sake. Never before a show. <laughs> so uh, what happens in this game is called Freeze Tag, or you might know as L.A. Switch. So, in fact, Steve, can you duck down here so you're ready to leap on at any point? Because what happens is you're going to give them physical positions to, to start a dramatic scene. The, the positions may be unrelated. They start acting out a scene. And at any point, one of us might shout out, freeze, leap on stage, tag one of them out, and then adopt their exact physical position and start an entirely new scene changing the reality. So it sounds complicated, doesn't it? But we've been doing it now for many, many years. 28 years the Comedy Store Players have been going. So you'll see what fun it is in the hands of people who've never done it before. <laughs> <laughs> so, can I have a physical position for David to adopt, please? A physical position over here, please. Sumo. Sumo, okay. <laughs> Thank you, madam. Uh, so, sumo. <laughs> Sumo, okay, sumo. So you, you could start as sumo, but you might not actually end up being sumo. We'll see what happens. And Mark, maybe an unrelated position. Oh, oh, dead. <laughs> Are you in HR as well? Or <laughs> compliance? I don't know. What was yours down here? In some ways. What? Taking a dump. Taking a dump. All <laughs> oh, right. Are you, are you the legal counsel for somebody? Or what? Yeah, okay. So taking a dump. There we are. It's almost, it's almost as if John Betjeman were in the room. It's not unlike sumo, is it? Cause, so they're going to play a scene, so really listen to each other. And we're going to leap in at any point. OK, action. Oh, would you pour some paper? I'm not doing that. I'm just being, I'm just standing here, but I'll get you some. Do you want me to do it for you? Uh, some... Freeze! I've never flown a flight before. That's okay, neither have I. <laughs> this is easy, Jack. Freeze! Where do you want these two rolls of carpet? <laughs> uh, over there. Right. Near my wife. <laughs> Would you like an ice cream? <laughs> I can't, I have no hands free. Freeze. <laughs> oh, I've lost my hair. Has anybody seen my head? Do you give in now? Oh! Freeze! <laughs> That's right, I'm Anne Boleyn. <laughs> and I still can't find that sieve. Freeze! Am I staying under my shirt? <laughs> now, tell me, where did you find me? <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> I, I found you over there, Cinderella. Oh. I was a bit lost. I was a bit lost. And thank you for rescuing me anyway. But don't move your hand, will you? Because no, no. Okay. I've we... seen you on stage so often and I've never been in this situation. That's the only reason I came up. Freeze! That's a shame. <laughs> uh, I think it might be appendicitis. Oh, I'm so sorry for you. Really? Yeah. What made you think it was appendicitis? Because it hurt. Yeah. It could just be nipple rash. Freeze. Um, are you John Betjeman? Yeah. 
John Humphreys. <laughs> why did you fuck off? <laughs> yes. Yes, and, and why don't you as well? <laughs> well, I'm a big fan of yours. Uh, are you? Why? <laughs> I've forgotten. Really? <laughs> you were good in the 70s in Washington. I was. I, I, that's where I got all the ring freeze. Oh, I'm one of the doggies. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Well, I'm... Do you know who I am? <laughs> I'm a Prince of Wales. <laughs> Isn't it? Don't Freeze. you? <laughs> Don't you? Anything sexual? <laughs> <laughs> so, you have done this. Where, where, where do you live so we can make this into a relationship? Freeze. <laughs> Isn't it fun being Torval and Dean? <laughs> da oh. Freeze. Daddy, can I have a dog for Christmas? <laughs> Uh, yes, you're right, you can. Uh, here, here's some money. <laughs> Go and buy a cockapoo. Oh, yes. <laughs> you know... Oh, you've grown. <laughs> you be you pretending to be much shorter than you were. How dare you? Are you really my son? I'm not sure you yes, are. Yes, and I bought some steroids, Father. That's why I'm so big and muscular. Really? Yes, look at me. <laughs> you are big Freeze. and muscular. Freeze! I've always wanted to do this in Soho. <laughs> Uh, so have I. <laughs> <laughs> Your name's not Brian. You're not coming in. <laughs> Actually, I'm Beck. <laughs> so we're pretty much back to where we started. <laughs> <laughs> Freeze! So you think you're the fastest gunfighter in the <laughs> West, do you? I'll kill you, Jesse James. People who talk, talk. People who kill, kill. Bang! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Quick, Monk, see if you want to take his position. Go again. Let's reenact that John Lewis ad. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen it. Have you not seen uh, it? <laughs> I only watched the BBC. Oh. And only BBC 4 at that. So. Anyway, <laughs> uh, John Lewis, great stuff. <laughs> Isn't it great? Come to John Lewis this year. Well, Freeze! <laughs> reenact the John Claude Van Damme trucks <laughs> ad. <laughs> Freeze! Back one, back one, back one. No, 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 no. I'm sorry, Mickey Mouse, I'm going to have to kill you. But first, some soup. <laughs> Freeze! So I'm playing the triangle, what are you playing? <laughs> oh, I'm playing... Uh. <laughs> nah. I'm playing my yeah. hands. Oh, yeah. yes. nah. Freeze! <sighs> right. Who superglued my hands to my head? <laughs> Year seven, who was it? Was it you? Uh, no, sir. Free. Sure? Yes. It was me. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I've done it before. <laughs> you have as well. To myself. Oh, let us. Oh, not commune. again. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, yes. Yes, what happens you, now? <laughs> what happens now? There's disappointment coming soon. <laughs> Freeze! I... You keep turning up, don't you, at the big do, moments? Yes, yeah. if, if only this piece of glass was not between us, I could kiss you. Freeze! Oh. <laughs> Let's hope Craig is nice to us this week. <laughs> Which one of us is the professional? Oh, I don't know. I'll be professional if you will. Oh, I could be professional. Indeed. Freeze! <laughs> <Got it. laughs> what are you taking? <laughs> I'm sick of carrying bloody carpets around all the time. <laughs> That's right, you walk all over me, don't you? I do. You see me as a carpet. 
I told you I wanted a job in HR, but no, carpets. Oh, carpets? I think yes. they're cars. Ca pets. Ca carpets. In Dagenham. Like pets at home. Yes. Perhaps, yes. Well, do you remember? Yes, I do. I do. It was fantastic, wasn't it? I was in HR, Bruce. you were... <laughs> you were what? I'm so comfortable. Really, darling? Oh. <laughs> I know you like your nightly massages. Should I do the special place? Yes. <laughs> Freeze and curtain. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, David Taylor. Stephen.